Welcome back to my channel and there's only a few hours left of 2020 and we are about to to greet a hopefully better year ahead so I thought of attempting to do a charcuterie board a charcuterie board is a cheese meat and fruit platter so I've seen some vlogs about this and I thought it's kind of fun to make one and we are also great cheese lovers we're kind of cheesy you know and to make the new year more cheesy so um, I thought why not create one so first first thing that we need is a board of course so what's usually used is a chopping board so it's just perfect timing that i got one last christmas thank you to my ate trina for giving me this so this is a bamboo chopping board the size is just perfect we are a small family we're not expecting any um guests for the new year so this is just the right size for us so any chopping board will do find the right size that is perfect for you now let's get to know the different types of cheese that we are going to use for our charcuterie board first one we use is brie it's coined as the queen of cheeses brie is a soft cow's milk cheese named after brie the french region from which it originated it is pale in color with a grayish tinge under a rind of white mold then we have feta cheese feta is a greek brine curd white cheese made from sheep's milk or from a mixture of sheep and goat's milk its flavor is tangy and salty ranging from mild to sharp feta cheese makes great addition to salads and sandwiches next is casa de bola casa de bola is a filipino term from spanish for adam cheese so adam cheese originated from netherlands and this came from the town of adam in the north holland it is a favorite at christmas time and this is often used during the noche buena in fact this is a leftover from last christmas this is a gift from my Mommy, madam. Thank you, madam. Next, we have fontal cheese. Fontal cheese is slightly melting whole milk cheese that is mainly produced in northern Italy. It tastes slightly milky with fine spice and it's not very salty. It's named after the Italian Valley of Fontina. And then we have the Gruyere cheese, which is the most popular Swiss cheese, and it's hard yellow cheese that originated in Switzerland. It is a sweet but slightly salty with a flavor that varies widely with age. It is often described as creamy and um, nutty when young, becoming more assertive, earthy, and complex as it matures. And then we have camembert. Camembert cheese is a moist, soft, creamy surface ripened cow's milk cheese. It was first made in the late 18th century at Camembert, Normandy in northern France. So, so we have one, two, three, four, five, and six types of cheese that we are going to use for our charcuterie board. Next, we have the cold cut. This is the pancetta. The pancetta is um, the Italian version of the bacon. It can be eaten directly, raw, or it can also be um, used for pasta or wrapped around a vegetable. So this is the only cold cut that I was able to find in a grocery store. So this is, we're, this is what we're going to use for our charcuterie board. And then, of course, we are going to use some nuts. We have walnuts in here. We have pili nuts. We have cashew. And what else? Almond. 
And for the crackers, we're going to use some Japanese crackers. Some typical crackers that you can find at the grocery store. And for the fruits, we're going to use some dried mangoes and some grapes as well. So, oh, we have this too dates that my husband has brought from his trip and some olives too that we're going to put in a bowl <laughs> and that's about it i think okay so let's start assembling our charcuterie board just like that And the casa de bola or the Adam cheese. Let's put it right here. And let's cut some thin wedge slice as well. Let's just cut this in thin long slices and put them here on the edge of our board just like that then we have the feta cheese so next is the camembert cheese which is almost similar in size and look to the brie we'll put it right here again we slice it in thin sliced wedges and we have the one cheese look good in here So those are the pili nuts and then next would be the walnuts so they are all available at our local grocery stores nuts are very healthy walnuts specifically are among the top 10 healthiest food they're good for the heart and they're also good for the brain should be some cashew nuts. Let's put it where? About right here. So just put them in clumps around our cheese. And the last one would be the almonds. So how about right here? Then, how about some dried mangoes? The pride of the Philippines. Let's cut them into smaller pieces. Is our board looking great already? I think so. And then we get some 
grapes too. So let's keep them on its vine, on its stem. And just put it right there. How about this too? Right here. Where do we put our crackers now? Okay, so I think we were able to fill our board already. I think there's no space anymore for anything else. So, how does it look? So, there it is, guys. So, I think we were able to achieve a great looking charcuterie board. I know it would taste great as well later on. So, again, we use six different types of cheeses. Um, four different types of nuts, the cashew, the almond, the pili, and the um, walnuts, and four different types of fruits as well, the, the grapes, the dates, the dried mangoes, and um, our crackers as well, plus the panchata, so not bad at all. So from my family to yours, I wish everyone to have a happy, a healthy, and safe new year ahead. So let's all be optimistic for the coming new year. Better times are coming. So stay safe, be safe, be healthy, and be happy. Happy New Year! Thank you.